Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Here we go, man. I'm just getting on here for a minute uh, on this nice Sunday evening. I guess you would say nice Sunday evening. I'm waiting to check out this all-star game, man. I just wanted to dibble-dabble on some stuff real quick. Um, want to apologize to people. First of all, before we get going on that, man, if you got any questions about the show, um, submit some music, some topics or whatever you want to advertise on the show. It's Mike with a mic 313 at gmail.com. That's Mike with a mic 313 at gmail.com. Um, we got deucefireclothing.com, platinumstatus.com, detroitcousins.com, createdbyjones.com, Betty's Girls Party Event Planning. Catch them on Instagram. Shop with your folks, man. Um, we just gonna get into it, man. Um, I was looking at some people post about the All Star Weekend because um I had missed it or whatever, so I had to catch like the replay. And I was like reading people's statuses about how whack the dunk contest was, and that shit was terrible. Like, um, we only can hate so much because can't none of us really do none of that shit that them niggas was doing. But as far as impressing me, I wasn't impressed. So. That's that's I'm gonna leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Like those those was layup line dunks. Them is dunks that you know everybody can do. I think that's what the dunk contest is for. We want to see dunks that people can't do that like only a few can do. They was doing dunks that every team got five guys on the team that could do those dunks. That's what I mean by that. Like if <clears throat> if you do a dunk and it's a thousand people that can do that same dunk is really not that impressive. That's why I say, like, it ain't too many people like Zach Levine jumping from the free throw line doing a windmill. Not going to happen. Them dunks Vince was doing, everybody can't do them. Like, people is not jumping up, sticking their arm in the rim. People is not doing reverse 360 windmills. That You're not doing it. Like, I'm talking about you think you got some hops. You really don't. You can dunk. So, that's the part that – um you know, kind of shook me was the they just looked like kids dunking around in the backyard like a bunch of 10th graders in gym after practice to me. And like one of them, you know, kind of got some hops a little bit. The guy who won, um, he was cool. The other guy, I don't even know his name. It seemed like he was trying dunks that he know he couldn't do. And I guess he thought he was going to like get a couple more inches on his vertical because the crowd was cheering i don't know man i just watched it i didn't watch it really through i just watched the uh the dunk contest on youtube so um the whole feeling i guess i guess i wasn't there to experience it live i would say that but from what i seen it was, it was bad man i'm i'm not even going to say bad because it's just bad compared you know what i'm saying and that's exactly what we expect we expect next year to be better than last year and that's not gonna happen god didn't make that many vences he didn't make that many zach levines or aaron gordon's or dominique's he only make one or two of them and he drop them off in different time zones so we can um get that out of our minds that we gonna see one every decade you know what i'm saying but i don't think it should be this bad but i do think this was one of the weakest dunk contests ever i mean I haven't seen one bad as this, so I don't know. Maybe they should up the prize money or something like that. I don't know, man, to get the get the superstars to participate. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Let the YouTubers get in. Maybe do some NBA player and YouTuber dude. You know what I'm saying? People be on teams, and then you do a dunk, he do a dunk, and they average them out. I don't know. I'm just saying something that we can – if they're going to keep the dunk contest, I think – it's to the point now that we kind of seen everything and maybe the dunk contest has just run its course. You know what I'm saying? Like, or maybe they should put the three point contest last, do the dunk contest, make it two days. Like this celebrity game and all that shit. My boy has said like, they not going to have no celebrities in a celebrity game. That's how I was feeling too. Like I watched the highlights of that and I was like, nah, I'm straight. But like I said, man, however, 
<clears throat> I love basketball, so I'm going to continue to watch. <laughs> and um, I know that it's people out there, you know, that they good at their job. So I'm not going to knock nobody, nobody in the NBA. They all good players. They taking care of their families and stuff. You only can say so much. But I just feel like stuff like this make people not watch it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, making the NBA lose money, I would guess. I don't know, or, or viewers or whatever. I'm not sure. But they're not going to turn me away with it. However, I do think that they need to do something, maybe get rid of it for a couple of years or let the YouTubers in. I don't know. But that's just a couple of things that I would change about the NBA. Like, I think the NBA should get rid of, like, six teams. You know what I'm saying? To make it more competitive you know what i'm saying like i think a lot of teams don't even have a chance at winning the championship so why the fuck we even got to go play them like even if they beat us or we beat them it it can help me yeah if you somebody like i don't know brooklyn you go play sacramento like you beating them really does nothing but them beating you it really kind of does nothing for them neither because they not going to win no championship they just kind of fucking up your seed and, you know what i'm saying and that's what kind of like some of those teams are doing and um i mean i said it before though but like indiana because it seems like nobody wants to play there they they always have a hard time holding on to um like superstars it seems like every time somebody play good and then contract come around it's like okay we don't got enough money for them or they don't want to be here i don't know what the deal is with indiana but i'm just saying um indiana I would say Toronto because they just not in the United States. Nothing against Toronto. Um, I guess you would say one of them Florida teams. I don't think like no state should have three, four teams, maybe California. But get rid of one of them Florida teams, so it would probably be Orlando. But I keep Orlando in Miami. I don't know. But if I had to get rid of one, I would say Miami. I would probably say one of the Texas teams, which is probably be, end up being San Antonio because Dallas is cool and Houston is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never really heard nobody, like, brag about I'm going to vacation in San Antonio. You know what I'm saying? People go to Houston, people go to Dallas. But, you know, I'm just saying off of, off the top, kind of off the top of my head. But the Sacramento Kings get the fuck out of here because don't nobody want to be there. And every time y'all get a good team, it just never seemed to be good enough anyway. So get them the fuck out of here. Um, I say you could put a team back in Seattle. Maybe take Sacramento, put them in Seattle. Um, I don't know. Get rid of OKC, cause who the fuck want to play in Oklahoma City? Um, maybe the Clippers, cause you got the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Just I'm just saying, like in that way, I think that everybody will have a super team. Everybody will have a big three or a big four or whatever. I don't know. Cut the season down to 66 games or something like that, 70 games or whatever. You could do like that and just, I don't know. And then let everybody in the playoffs. I don't know. Let the teams travel around. So you'll have the Bulls playing, you know, Miami in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just saying something that they can do because I be look, I just be thinking about it sometimes like, I ain't saying the NBA falling off, but a lot of people got a lot of complaints about the game. Like they said, um, I saw uh, Carl Anthony Towns, like he he won a three point contest. Like I don't even know the rules to this shit no more. I thought you had to hit a certain amount of threes and get a certain amount of dunks to be in a dunk contest or in a three point contest. I don't follow Carl Anthony Towns, so I don't know. It just seemed like it's a list on the wall outside the gym now. And if you sign up, like it's just open fucking tryouts and runs look like and you know, I'm not saying that he can't shoot, but <clears throat> maybe we need a, a big man skills competition or all big men have a three point contest. And then the, I don't know, man. I just don't like the fact that a center won a three point contest. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is to me. I guess somebody should have got in there and handled business. I don't even know. Let me see if I could pull that up right quick. But um, it's just crazy because is that where we at now? I don't know what what the deal is, man, with with the, with the NBA these days. I mean, people say it's soft, um, but I just look at it like the game is changing. Uh, oh, they had uh, 
Luke Kennard and uh, Trey Young. Oh, shit, Trey Young didn't win it. Ain't that a bitch? Um, I don't even know who was in the three point contest. Don't hide me the line, man. I was at, I was at work. It's <laughs> for real. Like I'm not finna be going through all of this, but I don't know. Carl Anthony Towns won the congratulations on that, but I see they had Trey Young. And shit, why he didn't win? But a lot of people shoot better. Everybody know that. Any Hoopers know, man. It, it, we we all ran across that guy who had some hops and can't play or that guy who can shoot his ass off as long as we shooting around. But then when we get to running, his ass can't hit the side of a goddamn ship going through the fucking ocean for real with a scope. You know what I'm saying? For some reason. But that's neither to hear nor there. I just wanted to kind of put my two cents on there. If y'all listening to me, man, we got to do something with this game. But we, we, we'll get to it. Hopefully – Things will get better and players will get better. I, I just want to get back to um, big fellas posting up. You know what I'm saying? Like picking and popping and all of that and Joel and B shooting Jordan fadeaways. And he can – you can do it, yeah. I just have a problem with if Draymond Green is checking – Joel and B, he shouldn't shoot no jumpers. That's just how I feel about it. You should be pushing him all the way up in the goddamn concession stand and dunking that bitch every time you get the ball. But that's just me. I understand the game changed different. They let him play different kind of defense and all that. But, like, that's just that. I'm not going to, um, you know, it don't matter how I feel. They're going to do what the fuck they want to do. That's their shit. I'm just saying as a fan, I don't like no-name niggas winning the dunk contest. And big fellas winning the three-point contest. That's just that. But I'm off of that. I'm going to um, dabble on something real quick because I had jotted some stuff down, like, about this um, Kim and Kanye stuff. I saw a couple people, um, like, posting some stuff. I seen some stuff on Instagram where people was, like, you know, kind of going at Kanye and this is not me defending him in no kind of way. I'm just speaking from what I see, what I think, and all of that. So don't nobody try to hold me to none of this shit. I'm just chilling and yip-yapping a little bit. But i say this. I watched the Kanye um, Netflix joint, though. That was pretty good. You know, so far, so good. And what I got from it, or what I always got from Kanye was... Like, this man got a, a hole in his soul. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, his mama passed away, and that fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? So, I just pray over him for that, for, you know, how I strength in that and focus on that and, like, stability in his life. It just seemed like he's trying to fill that hole up. And I don't know if I ever talk to Kanye. That would be my conversation with him. Like, you're not going to be able to fill that up ever. You know what I'm saying? So, quit making that be the goal of your day or you know what i'm saying take that off the goal list filling that hole up it's certain people in our lives that we come across once they gone that's it man you're not going to be able to find some something to replace that or that person they don't it's just not going to happen whether it's kim kardashian whether it's music fashion whatever nothing's going to fill that hole not even all that shit together man i listened to how he talked to his mama she knew that boy rhymes that shit was crazy so like I said, man, I just pray over him because I like Kanye. And people be like, yeah, you missed the old Kanye. Yeah, I do, but that nigga's gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real, we not getting another college dropout. We can get that shit. Once once he got on and got a white girl, that was kind of it, man. Like, he said that on the song. Nigga, get on, Lee, Lee asked for a white girl. He did that. Once he did that, it was over with. You know what I'm saying? But that's the door niggas walk through, the fame door, man. That shit is crazy now. Nah to the family shit man like i mean as far as him and kim go like and this is not me taking no jab at kim because i don't know that girl personally i'm just speaking off what i see now and like i'm saying like in regards to some stuff i seen on social media like twitter and stuff like that we gotta pick a side with these kardashians i'm gonna say that and i'm gonna say that to black people we gotta pick a side because Either we going to label them like some fame driven, like gold digging, cum guzzling gypsies or we not. You know what I'm saying? It's like one minute y'all hate them for 
taking black men and fucking them up. And then the next day, some innocent fucking Virgin Mary mothers and y'all get them now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he need to chill the fuck out and blah, 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 blah. I thought you didn't like her. You know what I'm saying? I know I understand rules is rules. My thing is, is we going to play sides or is we going to follow the rules? You know what I'm saying? And it just seemed like in most cases when it comes to mothers, they don't follow the rules. They pick sides. You know what I'm saying? When they was together... Kanye was an Uncle Tom and the white bitch had him pussy whipped and all this stuff. They break up and he want to see his kids or if he may. I, part of me, I think is 70, 30, 70, the kids, 30 percent her. He want that girl back. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with that. He's he's still crazy, though. I mean, I don't think Kanye all the way wrapped together. You know what I'm saying? But I still think we even in these situations, we can't pick sides. The rule is. A father should be able to see his kids. If he can provide and he's doing this, he's not putting them in no harm or nothing like that. But when I saw the stuff about the birthday party, um, y'all got enough money for security. Let's just say that. Let's just say you scatter this nigga and you think he's going to flip out. Get some security there. If he flip out, tase his ass, take him out back. It'll be his fault. Y'all got it on tape. When the kids grow up and say, why you tase dad? Look at this shit. Let me press play. The nigga was flipping out. All right. But... For you to be like, no, all of a sudden, because y'all broke up, I understand the stuff with the boyfriend. I don't know the ins and outs. I'm just saying. I just think when it comes to the Kardashians, from what I be seeing, and I be actually trying to read people's comments, because I be like, sometimes I be wondering, am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? Because I got kids by different women, and I done been in different situations. And these mothers think these they kids. And this mama's babies, daddy's maybe that shit is true. So whatever the fuck happened between them or whatever, I don't know. But the rules is this man should, should be able to see his kids. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if, if he's doing some other shit behind the fucking cloth that I don't know. Then fuck him. He shouldn't see him. But from what I understand, y'all was just together fucking a week ago. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that bad. You ain't said nothing about the nigga beating your ass or him doing no fucked up shit. Y'all just broke up. So I don't know, man. I'm just saying when it comes to the Kardashians and my question to black people, what the fuck, where are we going to put these people at? Either we going to ride with them and say that they cool or we not. And if we going to say that they are, when they do some whole shit, stand next to them. When they do something good, yeah, you cheering because you cool with them. But don't try to flip flop according to situations. And I'm not going to do that. I, I just feel like, see, just me, I don't trust them. That's just me. It's just, I don't know, man. They got some real voodoo shit going on in that mansion. And I'm going to stay my punk ass out here. That's how I feel about it. Like, everybody going in there coming out fucked up ain't a coincidence at this point, man. I'm not saying that they are bad people. I'm saying I'm not going in there. That's all I'm, I, I don't think it's worth the risk of going in there trying to figure out what's going on or like, quote unquote, beat the game or whatever. I, I'm the nigga that went in there and, you know, was with one of them and married them and came out. And I'm not going. No, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I would play those kind of games. I'm just saying like they just it seemed like they got some real voodoo shit going in there because it ain't just pussy. I don't think so at all, man. <laughs> Bitch might be able to pussy whip one or two niggas, you know what I'm saying, every now and then, or pussy whip this nigga, then the next nigga, don't get dinner. These motherfuckers is pussy whipping niggas or whatever y'all want to call it. I think it's some voodoo shit. They doing these niggas damn near two at a time now. You know what I'm saying? Chloe got Lamar and what's the name going crazy at the Sega. They both, they ready to scrap it out and shit like that. Like, something ain't right over there. Or maybe something is right. I don't know, man. I'm just saying, I don't know. I almost stay the fuck on this side of that goddamn gate because it just ain't worth it to me. You know what I'm saying? To to be with somebody with that kind of history. You know what I'm saying? If I met a woman and she's like, damn, you study dating all these famous niggas and don't none of them want you, that a ring a fucking bell for me. You know what I'm saying? You fine as hell. You got money. You got a fat ass booty. You famous. You don't need shit from me. Like... I would really be wondering, like, why me at this point? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'll be saying. Like, how the fuck you even trinkle down to me? You know what I'm saying? So, like, 
come on, man. That's all I'm saying, man. And that's why, to be honest, man, I get rich and famous. I'm going to try to do my best to stay right here. I don't even want to live around these motherfuckers, man. Like, for real, fuck Hollywood. Like, fuck them parties. Y'all know, like, the parties. Niggas always, like, you know, speak about once they... I don't know if they broke or just don't get invited no more. Or they not in the in circle no more. Then all of a sudden they on Vlad TV somewhere. Let me tell you what happened in the mansion party. So nigga, I always double question that. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, why you ain't say nothing that night or that next morning? If you opened the fucking door and you saw a fucking motherfucker Greg Popovich fucking some dude in the ass, you should have said something then, nigga. Don't wait for niggas to not invite you no more. Then all of a sudden. You got something to say, but I'm just saying, I don't, I'm trying not to do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck new friends and all that stuff. Like, we was down, we was down. Ain't no new niggas coming in. Ain't no niggas that left coming back. I, I just feel like that the way I move and operate in my life, if I'm in a situation and we doing something together, that's us in that situation. I'm not mixing friends. I'm not trying to mix with your other friends. That's just how I roll. I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. I'm just staying right here with me and mine. I got my wife. I got my kids. Got my family, my friends right here. We got enough. Only thing we need is a couple of more dollars so we can get on a boat and chill. But I would definitely rather chill with the friends I got than all of a sudden I'm in Hollywood and not Tiger want to hang with me. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, for real. I ain't, and I ain't got nothing against Tiger. Just the fuck on man if we doing some business and we end up being cool it's going to be business and we're going to be cool inside that business but i don't know man i just think that this whole hollywood thing is kind of crazy because everybody ain't lying my question be why y'all ain't say nothing that, that night when you left that party, why you didn't leave that party? Like, if I'm at a fucking party and I open the door and there's some niggas in there doing coke, I'm going to fucking leave. Then, this ain't my shit, I'm gone. Even if I don't say nothing, but if I'm going to say something, it's going to be that night or within the next couple of days. When they ask me, what the fuck happened at that party? I left. Why? Because the motherfucker, I opened that goddamn door and these two celebrity niggas that I thought was cool was in there kissing and it was two men. Like, I'm going to fucking say that. So my thing would be, how about I just don't go? You know what I'm saying? I believe these people. I just think they come with the shit too late, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to just stay here with me and mine because I just think if you move out there, you live in a little neighborhood or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You go to Walmart to get some tissue and you bump into one of these beautiful fucking demon whores. You know what I'm saying? And <sighs> these bitches is good. You know what I'm saying? Like they got they shit down pack, man. They... Next thing you know, shit, man, you fall for that voodoo shit and I don't know, man, end up fucking your life up, you know what I'm saying, or cheating on your girl with her and leaving your girl, the one that's been with you from day one when you was broke as fuck, you know what I'm saying, humping back and forth to work before the money came in, you leave her for this motherfucking bitch just because she's famous or rich or whatever, whatever it is, because you don't move to this neighborhood, now you got alimony and child support, I don't. I'm not going for none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like I said, I have nothing against Kim Kardashian, but if I got rich and she was like, oh, I like you, I would definitely question that shit for real. You don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, I don't, I'm, I'm a cool dude. I think I'm special in my own way, but if if it if she ain't looking for me now, nah, she ain't looking for me. If she was looking for regular dudes, she would be dating regular dudes now. So when she meet a regular nigga, you would be like, oh, she like regular dudes. No, nah, she like niggas with money. And I feel like niggas who can like help her, at least not her spend no money. And I ain't I don't know what they uh payout is for whatever they do. I'm just saying what it looked like to me. But it could be because they all live in that neighborhood. But I don't know. I think they got some voodoo going on in there, but that's just me. Like I said, man, you live out there, you bump into them, and next thing you know, man, you done knocked this demon up, and you stuck with her for, people say 18 years, but forever, man. I got grown kids, 25 years old, man, and I, you still got to communicate with the mother. You know what I'm saying? Not Probably not as much, but... That open line of communication got to always stay open just in case something happened between the kids, the grandkids. You still got to be able to get in touch with each other. You know what I'm saying? So when people say 
you know, she got you for 18 years. Nah, that, that's a forever thing for real. But that's why, I don't know, man. That's why when God decided to bless me, man, and let's say I got to move, because I always say I don't want to be rich and famous. I just want to be rich. Just give me a couple dollars. If somebody tossed me $2 million, I'm straight. I'll ride that shit the rest of my motherfucking life. For real. You get a new car, pay the house off, get the fucking credit together. Like, what more do you fucking need? I, don't, I would like to have a billion dollars, but I don't need a billion dollars because this is what comes with it. Turning into some shit that Kanye going through. Because you got all these niggas calling and popping up and friends and all that shit and cousins and uncles and shit that you never heard of. Niggas want you to donate to this and all that, man. I Like, I don't want to go through that. And they know you got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, Kanye can't tell a nigga, like, nigga ask him to borrow, like, $100, man. Come on now. This nigga got on $5,000 Walmart boots. But... I'm just saying that's the thing. I, that's why I say, man, I'm not going to be doing that. That's why I, if you hear me, Lord, if you can slip it to me some kind of way, it, it just on the low where I could just hide my money and nobody know, I would take that. But if I do end up in that situation, my wife going to be right there by my side. I'm talking about 24-7, man. She going to be my stylist, my manager. She going to be my agent. She going to be everything, man, because these motherfuckers, these whores is good, man, for real. <laughs> they done perfected. Some of these bitches out here done perfected the art of stealing a nigga and just ruining, like, his life and his motherfucking marriage and Fuck his kids. They don't give a fuck about none of that. They trying to get paid and they trying to live this lifestyle that they feel like they deserve. I don't know, man, what these bitches be going on. I think it's the devil. And if you got a hole in your soul, the devil got room to operate. And I think that's where most of these motherfuckers be at. And that's why I try to keep that together inside of me. So I won't end up being a victim to some shit that the devil needs you to do because he see this motherfucker over here doing something good because god done blessed him and it's like oh shit well michael that's his brother so i can't get to him because he close to god but what i can do i can get my hands on michael kanye's a fucking genius man that nigga can fucking help us when y'all hear him talk if y'all cut off all the fat of the bullshit he makes sense and i know y'all know that but the reason why I we don't like him or whatever because he going through some shit or because he's arrogant you are too people kill me i'm the shit y'all to put on y'all page i'm the best at this and i'm the best at this and i'm a bad bitch i'm a boss bitch and i got a business blah 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 but then when kanye said all of a sudden he arrogant and he an asshole you know what i'm saying i don't go for that kind of shit so i we sit up and argue about who the best lebron or jordan and your son hoop they not assholes you know what I'm saying? It, that's why I say it's what the fuck my man say about the gang banging shit, selective politicking. That's what we do in the real world. And that's what I mean about this Kim and Kanye shit. You know what I'm saying? When they was together, he was an Uncle Tom. Now they apart, he a crazy nigga. Like, which one is it? Is she a fucking demon whore or is she a fucking Virgin Mary? What, what the fuck we gonna do with these folks? I mean, I don't think we can't do nothing but look at their situation and learn. And one thing we can say for sure, money don't fix nothing when it's something wrong. You can give a nigga, you can literally give a nigga a billion dollars and take his kids away and he'll go crazy. Because we all know money makes it easier to be a good father, but that shit don't fix nothing. It don't fix a hole in your soul neither. And I think that's what the real problem is. Like I said, man, this man ain't got no brothers, no sisters. His mama done died. I don't know how close he is with his daddy, but we ain't never heard him talk about his daddy or nothing like that. Like the only family he got is those kids. And then you want to play with that? Uh, that's what I mean. That's something that we can have another conversation about, about women do, doing shit like that. They hit you where it hurt. You know that shit, man. And she sit back and play innocent. I don't know if she is innocent as she fucking play. And I'm not going to go for that. That's why I'm not passing no judgment on him or her. I just say what the fuck I feel. And I don't know. But like I said, man, that's why I'm not. I wouldn't even go that motherfucker way, man. Like for real. Because these motherfuckers be playing on another level, man. Like I don't know if I'm strong enough to, to fight off like an evil fucking 
Kardashian rubbing my dick and licking on my fucking ear at a bar fucking three o'clock in the morning. I'm all the way in California. My wife back here in Detroit with with the kids sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I ain't never been in that situation. I don't know if I could fight a bitch like that off. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay the fuck from in there because it's not worth the risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, I'm cool. I could fight these motherfucking bitches off around here, these regular motherfuckers. Like, I'm cool with that. But, like, y'all niggas say this shit. I'm faithful to my wife and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, around here, nigga. And that's why when niggas get rich, you all of a sudden forget about the girl she, that he was living with when he was working on his demo. Because she gone. Because he dating Megan Good now. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Like, you get out there and you in a whole different world. And then when you get in there, maybe Kanye done went in there and it fucked them up. Maybe Tristan went in there and it fucked them up because you've been dating regular motherfuckers because you are a regular, like you, you're not ready for this shit that Lucifer got coming for you. And most of us not <laughs> you like for real, it ain't necessarily faithfulness to your wife or your husband. It's a whole different level of evil out here that I don't think people understand sometimes and people so quick to deem him crazy off his reaction to things that's done happen to him versus consoling him for the shit that happened to him and i think that's more of what's going on that's just me and i could be biased because i like kanye i don't like this new nigga he is and maybe i'm just waiting on the old kanye to come back even though i say that i'm not but I just want the nigga to be all right. I want us to look at this situation and learn from it. And and that's all I'm saying. But like I said, man, I ain't I ain't going in there because I, I don't think it's worth the risk, man. Like, like I say, you can fight these regular motherfucking girls off around here and these regular women around here. But a Kim K, I don't know. <laughs> and that's why I say, man, if I get on. And some shit jump off of me, man. My wife going to be right there every step of the motherfucking way, man. I'm not playing around with them, with my motherfucking kids. All y'all scrippers sliding down these poles. Y'all will not see Michael in there. My wife going to be right there, straight Bobby Brown, every little step I take. And it's not going to be no other way, for real. I, I, I'm going to treat that shit just like that. And it's, it's not nothing against me like fessing up to some weakness I have. No, I'm saying I don't know. And I'm open to being honest about that. I don't know. So I'm not going to go in there. I don't know if I can beat that bear. So why the fuck I got to go in there? What am I proving by going in there, winning or losing? What I do know is if I go in there and lose, I got to pay alimony and child support and I possibly end up going through some shit like Kanye. So how about I just stay out here? I'm already happy. So what am I going in there looking for, like, more happiness? What the fuck, man? You already happy. Sit your punk ass down. Like, that's the part I'm, uh, that's the part I don't get about niggas getting famous and then be like, oh, shit, my album doing good. Now Ariana Grande likes me. Nigga, please, man. Like, come on, man. She can like me and we can hang out and do whatever with my wife sitting here. If you like me, <laughs> if you like me anyway, you should like me while my wife's sitting here. You shouldn't be afraid to say nothing you got to say if in front of my wife, in front of my homeboys who not going to let this shit go down. I got homeboys who uh, like I'm not out here trying to like fuck my life up, but I still got homeboys who wouldn't even allow that shit. But back in the day, I had homeboys like, nigga, I was living with my girl and they called me, nigga, hey, man, we got these holes on deck. Like, I don't even want that shit around. So if I get rich, I'm taking the niggas that's with me now. Ain't going to be no new niggas coming in. Hell no, ain't gonna definitely ain't gonna be no motherfucking Kardashian coming in. That's all the fuck I'm saying. I'm just trying to look at it from a different way because people just I don't like how we quick to just blame him. Yeah, he's a little off, and that makes it easier to fucking blame him. And he's full of shit sometimes, and it makes it easier to blame him. But that has nothing to do with the rules. That man should be able to see his kids. That man should be able to want his woman back. I don't agree with how he acting and posting text messages and all that shit. That's bullshit. But this is still a man with a hole in his soul. And we can't get too far away from that either. That's why I don't know. I I ain't never been through the stuff he been through. I ain't never been that rich. My mother's still living. I, so 
I got both my parents, so I don't um, I don't know. I got brothers and sisters. I got a big family, people I can turn to, and maybe that's what he's dealing with now. But I don't know. I'm just saying that's some stuff that we got to think about because he was with the girl for like two weeks. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was about, man. I guess that was just another one. And then she tried to play the shit off like, no, we just friends. And I didn't get that part neither. Like her just sitting there chilling while this nigga's just chasing his fucking ex-wife or his wife or whatever around the goddamn globe. I'm not about to be with no female that's posting every other day how much she want her nigga back. And I'm sitting, I'm just going to sit here and take that shit because you got some money, nigga. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Fuck you and your money. Bitch, I ain't got time for this shit. Wish I would be be sitting here while my motherfucking girl, what I, I, I thought you was my girl, you on fucking Instagram and making videos about how the fuck you want your boyfriend back. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know, but like I said, man, we just got to be safe out here because... I'm talking about niggas with women and wives and all that, man. Even women with husbands. Like, you got to be careful. These niggas some dirtbags, too, man. They be out here. Um, I saw the shit I read a little while ago uh, with Mary J. Blige. This nigga, come on, man. You a, you a dirty motherfucker, man. Wendy Williams' boyfriend, you a dirtbag. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, I get it. You you accustomed to some kind of lifestyle or whatever, but nigga, under, understand why you got accustomed to it. It wasn't you, motherfucker. It was her. So, you know what I'm saying? When it's time to get off the bus, get off the bus. Live off your memories, my nigga, but that's them. That's, that's them. I don't know, man. I just say, be careful out here, man. Just, I don't know, man. Take your punk ass to work and take your punk ass home, man. Like, no stops at the bar. Like, <laughs> no quick Walmart stops. No, like, you know, let me stop by this after hour right quick because this nigga Lucifer, man, he on his goddamn job and he ain't taking no breaks. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm driving home from work. Bitch could be on the side of the road broke down, man. She ain't got no baby with her. Bitch, fuck you. You on your own. For real. Call that nigga who throwing that goddamn rod in you. You know what I'm saying? Because Michael ain't about to do it because... I'm not even finna put my name in that hat. I don't even like putting my name close enough to the hat where I can be lied on. I mean, ain't nothing worse than, than, than cheating. Cheating is obviously the worst, but ain't nothing worse than being lied on and you didn't cheat. Like, goddamn, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? So you do some shit and you hung up somewhere and nigga take a picture and you got your arm around a bitch and you fuck around lose your wife. Oh, man, come on, man. Niggas miss me with that shit, but I'm, I'm not gonna hang on this too long. In Kanye's defense, man, before I dip, because I just want to make sure we got this laid out. Like, this man really lost his mama. Like, and I, from watching the documentary, just the one part, and just looking at him from where I'm sitting at, his rock, his mother was his rock. This man really might got mother issues, and I believe he got family issues because he don't have one. You know what I'm saying? And if he the only child and all that shit like i said man even like rockefeller broke up he was stuck in between dame and jay-z this nigga was on stage ranting about jay-z that shit hurt him because he, i think he's really trying to fill up that hole like i don't know man i just feel like the only family that that man has right now is those kids and we don't know what she doing i'm just saying from seeing certain things in my life baby mamas be on some bullshit and i don't think it changed with money i don't think it changed with fame i truly believe every woman across this world think that kid is theirs because they carried it and that could possibly be true but that's not the rules fuck how you feel fuck what y'all went through you know what i'm saying i just i don't know man and i'm just saying from a father's point of view somebody playing with your kids like that's the shit that really hurt like for real like i don't know man nah i said it before the nigga ain't all there as it is and you want to take more from him he done lost all this stuff and we look at him like he has a lot but i think if a nigga really sat down and talked to him he'd probably admit that he don't have nothing because he don't have his mom he don't have his kids he don't have brothers and sisters i don't think the nigga ever been playing a sport or nothing like that so he never been a part of no team like i got friends i've been play basketball with back in the day we still friends i got old co-workers i still talk to i don't think he really has that because everybody that he meets wants something from him give me a beat give me a rhyme make my record label some money do this and do this and i don't think nobody except his mom and his kids was the people that's around him and he thought kim kardashian too he thought these was people that didn't want nothing from him and that shit hurts when 
you thought you had something with somebody and you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been through that shit in my life a couple times where I know we not getting along, but I thought under everything we will still be cool. And it was like, damn, you really going to hit me with with that type shit? And I think that's what he going through with her. And then makes it worse is your kid's mother. And like I said, I don't know, man. I just feel like women with kids, they know how to hit you, especially when they got your babies if you fall in love with a girl and you pillow talk her and you tell her yeah man i, I feel bad about you know how my daddy is i wish i was close to my daddy as soon as y'all get into it she be like you bitch ass nigga you that's why you crying about your daddy they throw that shit women be cutting niggas to the white meat and i don't know if that's it i'm just saying from where i look at and i'm mixing a little of mine and what other niggas go through like i'm a firm believer that it ain't that many different kind of people in the world so when something like this happened it happened to somebody else too just probably on another level they ain't high billions of dollars but trust and believe people been cool and then all of a sudden they hate each other and it's a baby left right here and y'all got to still operate with that so i do think some of this shit and i do think to a certain extent to um what's the boy name pete davidson um i hope i hope um I just want to make sure I don't want to say it the wrong way, but I I hope he not getting played. Let me say that. I hope she not using him. But I do believe a little part of me. Certain women need a nigga that they over. Certain women are like that. Certain women want to lead the relationship. I think that's how Kim is. I think what she got with Kanye, he was a little quiet puppy because, you know, he was going through things. And then like with his mother, he was a crying puppy in the corner and she was petting him. And then when he stood back up to be a man again, she was like, whoa, nigga, this is not what I signed up for. I ain't signed up to be no second base to your ass. You know what I'm saying? And that's I think that might be part of it. But I don't know. I'm just saying. I just look at it. At the end of the day, we still got to follow the rules, man, because like I said, man, who knows what she said? I just know, like I say, speaking from personal experience, like I've had my kid's mother like say some evil shit out her mouth, man. And I was wondering, like, how the fuck we go from me wrong you one time back? Uh, obviously, if we got kids, we was cool enough for me to for you to trust me with your life. How we go from that to you hating me or you saying what you saying especially based on like something i said to you or how you know i feel about my kids you know what i'm saying like that shit hurts and i don't know if women hear this i don't know who the fuck listen to my shit but if a woman hear this or y'all can pass it along to a woman like we really gotta learn how to slice this bad boyfriend bad daddy shit i heard this lady say she don't want no um bum ass nigga I don't want no bum ass baby daddy. I totally agree. You shouldn't have no bum ass boyfriend. You shouldn't have no baby daddy. That's a bum. But if you end up with one, you cannot blame him. He been a bum the whole fucking time. You know what I'm saying? And then she said something about the nigga switched up on her. If somebody switch up on you, it's still rules to follow. You know what I'm saying? And I say, I've been through that where I felt like, like my kid my oldest kid's mother we we was cool one day back in the day we was cool we was cool and shit switched up shit happened between me and her she moved on i moved on but somewhere up in there we got why are we fighting about the kids the rules shouldn't change pertaining to the kids like her being mad ain't gonna put no money in my pocket she mad about me not having money and i'm like what the fuck you want me to do like this is what they pay me i make fucking 735 an hour like what the fuck do you want me to do you know what I'm saying? And like, you a bum. And it's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, the fuck you want me to do? I still get to see my kids. And I think that's where a lot of the shit come in with like this Kanye shit. And with other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, the mother think it's they kids. And, it, and, and damn near the world we in, it is they kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm just saying from my situation, when a mother tells you, you're not gonna be able to see your kids that hurts i don't give a fuck if she mean it or not so for her to have that birthday party and not invite him we can't take away from the fact that that hurt that man fuck how arrogant he is fuck if he an asshole and all that we know 
that has nothing to do with his love for his kids. Now, I go back to what I say and I say it again. I think it's 70 30. I think it's 70 kids, 30 her. I do think he's trying to get close to her so he can catch her by the punch table and say, hey, baby, give me another chance. I do believe that. However, that might not be it either. Either way, it shouldn't be somebody's call that he can't be at his kid birthday party when it was cool last year when he was doing what you wanted him to do. And that's what I think. I think once he stood back up and started dealing with his life a little better, she said, that's not what I signed up for. And that's not me blaming her or him. I'm just saying we go through shit like that. All of us go through shit like that. I ain't going to say all of us because for real, like <laughs> I be talking to some of my friends, man. They got one kid by their wife. And I, I make sure I tell them niggas as much as I can. I don't think you understand how blessed you is, my nigga. You ain't got to deal with this co-parenting shit where somebody can just decide you ain't about to see your baby today like you can get up go in a room and kiss your fucking son or kiss your daughter my nigga you are blessed my nigga if that's and that's the only one you got or if you got two or three and they all in the same house my nigga you are winning right there that should be enough for your punk ass to go to work and come right back home it ain't worth the risk of the other shit man that's all i'm saying them little ass fights that y'all be having man trust and believe this side over here is not greener motherfucker we cool and we learn to deal with it but nigga, this shit Kanye going through, I just look at it and I just be like, I ain't saying I went through some shit like that. I've been through that pain. That's what I'm talking about. When a motherfucker just tell you, no, nah, he can't come today. No, nah, she can't come today. Well, I knew you had plans to do this, but no, nah, nigga, you made me mad. Nah, and now you, nah, when I go off and say, fuck you, bitch, blah, blah, blah. See y'all, look, he crazy. And everybody be like, damn, Michael, why you crazy? And they be like, what the fuck? Y'all ain't just see what, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why I say it's just we got to get to a point where we learn how to slice this uh, bad boyfriend, bad daddy shit up. And, and the men got to calm down, too. That's why I say if I ever talk to Kanye, I tell him, nigga, you need to calm down because you're going to lose this fight or you're going to exhaust yourself so much trying to win it that you're going to have to put yourself in a position to, to talk bad about her. And that's one thing that we can't do either as men in our journey to fight for our kids. We, we got to learn how to do it without dogging the mother out, even if she dogging you out. And that's what I think Kanye fucking up on when he, you know, speak on her new Nick, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I've spoken on niggas, my baby mamas get with, but it's only because I want you to get a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want any nigga around my kid. I don't think Pete Davidson is a bad guy, but who knows? I don't know that nigga in and out. I'm talking about from where I look at. He's a fucking comedian. He's on TV. He got money. Like, I don't know. Seems like cool guy to me, but when I speak on somebody that my kid's mother's date, that, that'd be my approach. Who is this nigga? It ain't no necessarily don't have no nigga. It's just, you know, is the nigga cool? And if he ain't cool, I'm going to tell you this nigga ain't cool. And if she get mad about it, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, you can tell him. I, don't, I still don't give a fuck. Like, he know what the fuck's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was so wonderful, we would know it was wonderful. That's all I'm saying. I ain't trying to down nobody. And that ain't me taking no shot at nobody. So one of you dirtbag motherfuckers run back telling somebody something. That's not going to do nothing because... It's not going to do nothing. That's all I'm saying. I'm just talking about from a perspective of a father when it pertains to them speaking on their baby's mother, new nigga. It should only be the question of who do you have around my child? I want to know him enough to know that he's a least decent nigga. I don't give a fuck how he treats you, how this nigga finna be around my babies. And, you know, I like I say, that's 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 where we at. But I don't know. I just feel like. You know, it'd be because we fail as a boyfriend that they turn up the fire on the pot. You know what I'm saying? And cook us into this deadbeat daddy, you know, that they present us to the world. They put us on this deadbeat daddy plate and present us to the world as a deadbeat daddy because, you know, we failed as a boyfriend. And, you know, I think I'd rather co-parent apart than to be with you and fight over the baby every goddamn night. You know what I'm saying? And. That's where I think Kim and Kanye got to figure out right now. I don't think y'all going to be together, Kanye. If you hear this and you wonder what the fuck Michael think, I don't think you're getting her back, my nigga. And the reason why I think you're not getting her back is because she wants to lead the relationship. And you do, too. 
And that's one thing I can say about my wife. I ain't going to say. And that's another thing. Like, it's just rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I, I lead the relationship, our marriage, but it's still based under the rules. You know what I'm saying? We we know how each other feel and we know how I make each other feel. And we just follow the rules. And I think that's more important than anything that could happen, man. Just follow the goddamn rules. And when you when y'all stop following the rules, it don't matter how much you love a motherfucker. If they not following the rules, get your ass up, go to work, help me pay these goddamn bills. Um, we gonna fucking split the laundry or whatever. I'm gonna take your car and get the oil changed. Whatever the fuck the rules are, those are the rules. And if y'all follow them, y'all should be happy. People don't meet in love. They fall in love from the shit that you do to make you love a person. I hate when people be like, it was love at first sight. No, it wasn't. You want to fuck them. You fall in love down the line after people get to dealing out cards and you like the hand that you're looking at. If you don't like it, you're going to fold and you're going to move on to the next hand. When she dealt me her shit, I liked it. I looked at it. I said, good, I can rock with this. And that's just what it is. And then we just play by the rules. But, you know, like I said, I'd rather just man to, to wrap it up man like i feel bad for my man i'll just say like that's the main thing in this situation man we can't just automatically throw that man to the wolves like that man like it's just we just i don't know man we just automatically deem the mother the the good one in a breakup you know what i'm saying i don't know man i just like i said man i just had my I had my kid's mother say I was a, a deadbeat daddy, man. And it was because I was fucking broke. Like, no other reason than act like that I'm broke that I didn't love my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, to question, like, th that's another thing, you know, that I seen people saying. Like I say, I think it's 70 30. But people questioning like it ain't got nothing to do with the kids he just want her back like i don't believe that at all like we can't measure how the fuck these people feel about their kid man just i don't know just it, that's just some of the shit that us fathers sometimes got to deal with you know what i'm saying and like i said kanye might be on some bullshit and he is on some other bullshit but you know i can i can i can see that he love those babies and you know, we, we just can't overlook that neither. But like I said, man, we just quick as fuck to, to, to side with, with her because he acting crazy. And this chick is on her third or fourth divorce, man. Like, so for real, with all that fame and beauty and money and ass and all that shit. And, you know, smooth skin and TV show and all that shit. Niggas is still dipping on her, man. So I'm not going to automatically throw this nigga Kanye to the wolves because he got babies in that house. I do think he need to chill the fuck out, but that's just me. I'm just saying, man, we can't keep thinking that the mother is the better parent or more fit for the kid just because, you know, she carried them. I guess that's what it is, man. Junkies have babies every day, B. <laughs> for real. Like, right now, somewhere in some hospital, it's a fucking junkie or some 14 or 15-year-old or some junkie-ass 14 or 15-year-old that's pushing out a baby right now. And that baby will have a better chance at life if they took that baby from her. I really 100% believe that. I believe some of you bitches need, as soon as y'all miss y'all period, y'all need to be in that goddamn hitman office. You can't even fucking read. You know what I'm saying? But you finna pop out a goddamn baby. You ain't got no job. You still live with your mama. You still fucking, you don't, you ain't even graduated high school. Like all of us done been, I had kids when I was still in high school. I ain't got no business having no motherfucking kids. All of us be going through some bullshit. Some grown niggas, man. You can't afford no fucking kids, nigga. Why you got four kids? You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's a whole nother deal. I'm just saying we can't keep in this situation. I'm just saying from that point, everybody just automatically assume it because he's acting crazy that he's in the wrong. I'm just saying we got to look at it a different way. And I might be injecting my personal situations in there. And I don't give a fuck if y'all think I am or not. I don't give a fuck if I am or not. All I'm saying is when I see a man acting like that about his kids, I automatically sympathize with him because I know the hurt of somebody telling you, no, you can't come to your kid birthday party because you did me wrong. And that hurts because now you feel like something is happening, especially on a Kanye level 
of he gets so many yeses. He gets so many people bowing down to him. And then a motherfucker with the thing he care about the most is saying no to him. I think we got to kind of sympathize with that and try to, you know, understand that in, in, in our own personal situations, learn to navigate through that. And that's just that. I'm just saying, man, we can't do that. But hey, if if, if Kanye and Kim wasn't rich, man, niggas, she'll make a post, say he a deadbeat. She'll be on welfare. She'll be... um getting all kind of fucking help and child support or whatever you know what i'm saying and we'll be calling her a queen so it's no different up there than down here with us you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna just get off of that but like i said man we could just pray that this all works out you know what i'm saying pray that your situation works out pray that your friend or whatever going through this shit man it don't matter pray over this shit man because it's still babies in the situation you know what I'm saying? I'm Kanye with the whole Instagram shit and the TikTok shit, man. Like, come on now. Sound like you're nitpicking, but that's just me how I feel about it. And if shit ain't working between you and her, man, let it go, man. And then you really can't do nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of fucked up. But the crazy part is, you know, like I say, we, we give the mother the nod. And then when the kids end up a whore or fucked up or dead and gang banging and you know dropping out of school and all kind of shit then we can blame kanye and we can say it's because he was being crazy he wasn't in their life and they ended up like that because he's crazy and the reason why he was crazy and fighting so bad because he was trying to be in their life to prevent that so it's kind of like a double-edged sword with that but you know never turning to kim wondering what the fuck she did but you know that's the world we live in so I'll get off of that, man. I'll just say pray over them and pray over me and pray over yourselves and all kind of shit that's going on out here, man. Like, I just fear I speak on this. I was just at the crib chilling, man. I ain't really into nothing like that, but um, I'm off of it, man. Mike with a mic, 313 at gmail.com. If y'all want to send something in, some topics or something, I don't know, man. Y'all want to submit some music, advertise on the show. We got uh, refresh refreshus15.com, deucefireclothing.com, createdbyjones.com, platinumstatus.com, detroitcousins.com, Betty's Girls Party event planning. Catch them on Instagram. Y'all make sure y'all shop with folks and do some things. I know it's hard out here these days. Ain't nobody really got time for the, for the extra shit. <laughs> but if you do, shop with your folks, man, and um, we can get to it. And I'm going to just let y'all have at it. And... Make sure y'all be safe and stay prayed up, man, and I'll let y'all have at it. You were just listening to... Thanks for listening to... You were just listening to... Mike with the mic!